Hi guys, I'm Isa Watekami, and welcome to Chusingura 46 plus 1. This was that game that I told you about in the last video that I found that looks pretty interesting. From what I know, it's a game about the Japanese led. Well, not really a legend, it's the historical event of the 46 Ronin. Um, except it seems like they're all girls, and. That's really about all I know about it. I don't know if it's going to get super lewd or not, or what exactly is going on, but let's just get into it, dive in, and see what happens. I'm kind of curious. It looked kind of interesting on Steam. Oh, jeez, it's all in... The Kanate Hon Chushin Gran Hen. Okay. I can read I can read Japanese. I took three semesters semesters of it in college, but kanji for the most part still pretty difficult. Genroku, fourteen, seventeen oh one eighty December fourteenth. Oh, Suguha, Ant Pan. Oh shit. Where where is he? Hi. Shit. Oh shit. He got fucked up. And again, he got fucked up. Start auto mode. That, that might be easier to do. The sound of colliding steel are... Okay, is there a fast... Is there a way to... There are still small clashes. Open save screen. Open load screen. I don't want the backlog, I want it to go faster. It's already been about an hour since we stormed into this state. No, maybe nearly, even nearly two hours. Don't break if we don't find him soon. Yeah. Fuck him up. Yeah. Ah. Damn it, there is no end to this. The search should be finished for most rooms of the estate. But why, why can't we find him? Was there a mistake in the map? Or was it a mistake that he would be home tonight? No, that can't be it. Then where is he? Where is he hiding himself? Then... Oh. Hello. Yusabe? Or Yusabe? Hmm. Yes, wait a second. Signal assault. Okay, can I... There has to be an option to it, is it? Oh. Someone finally found him. What? What's the... Oh. Sheathing my katana, I hurried, hurriedly headed to the origin of the whistle. There has to be an. Oh, what did I do? Oh, there we go. Kind of. That's just the save, okay. Turn the game. Backlog, character list. No. Alright, well, I guess we'll figure that out in the way. Oh. He was there, in the backyard near the firewood storage hut. In the backyard, an elderly man was crouching down as if to throw himself upon the snow-covered ground. Already many Ronin were gathering, and it seemed like the old man was resigned to being surrounded by them. Chamberlain? Sir, we have found a suspicious old man. Karanosuke? Gera? Step back! She, the former Chamberlain of, Ako, of the Akko Domain. That we have stormed into the estate to avenge our late lord. I apologize for my rudeness, but from your appearance, if I'm not, and I'm not mistaken in judging you being Kira Kozukeno Suke, Suke. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you claim that you aren't Kira Kozukeno Suke, or Suke? Then how do you explain that scar on your forehead? Is that not the scar of our late lord? Takumino Kami Asano, when she attacked you in the corridor of the pines in the palace. So, you refuse to confirm your identity even now. Then there's no use. There should be another scar on your back that my late lord has left on you. If we find the scar on you, we will conclude that you are indeed so and so, even if, even if you won't admit it. Good lord, you had nips, nipples piercing through that. Pardon me! Well, on his back. It's him. Wow. 
Finally. We finally found him. It's him. Oh, she looks a bit rough. Glasses and... All 47 running here. Waited eagerly to see the face of this man. No, it's not just the 47 running. Finally, the one who... Who's... Who these comrades have waited so anxiously to reach. Including me. This. This marks the end of these stupid, wondrous days. Yes, this is... Kill him. Do it. Kill him. Oh. Well, that's not... This is all... December 24th, Christmas Eve of 2000-whatever. Tokyo Prefecture Ryonan Academy. Famous for a reason. Needless to say, it's Christmas Eve. Even more, this year is the year. It's Christmas. I'm gonna spend the holy night with my girlfriend. Ooh, she's cute. Mukumi-kun. What is it you wanted to tell me? You're blushing. Why are you blushing? Hinako Hakamada, the second most popular girl in the grade. Even with her outstanding looks, she doesn't have a boyfriend. Why, you ask, do I know this? That's obvious. Well, my my well-informed classmate told me. I had to pay him a high information fee. But spending Christmas, but spending money is not at all a problem if I can spend Christmas with Hinako. Hey. I like... Huh? Would you go out with me? She's gonna say no, isn't she? Awkward silence. No. I fumbled up. And I practiced this line a hundred times last night. Uh um. I'm sorry, that's impossible. What? I said that's impossible. She cut straight to the point. What? You don't belong to a club, right? I'm not interested in all the boys who don't belong to sports clubs. Ah. Brisk reply. Without further ado, she brisk briskly walked away, leaving me there. Yanako. Yanagasu Sawakun. What the heck are you doing? Let's go home. Yeah, okay. Hey, want to stop by the club room a bit? You want to make, make out again, don't you? Why not? Fine, okay. Straight after being brutally rejected, I'm forced to listen to her flirting with her boyfriend. How cruel. What's more, they're getting cozy in the club room? That's like IRL love minus. What? <laughs> again rejected. That was how my third love pleadingly dissolved away. My name is Fukumi Suguha, second grade of Ryonan Academy. Needless to say, I'm a dull guy whose age equals the years without a girlfriend. I guess until you get your girl first girlfriend, that's pretty much true. But still, I had no clue I would soon be dragged into such an unbelievable situation. I see a Miku over there. Suguha, boohoo. Hi! Here, time for nothing to lose. Right. Is there a way I can... Okay, that's just... Kojiri? I love Maya's having a sad storyline. Is she Maya Moto? Manary is so cute. It's hard to say it live. What nonsense? I bet you rejected by a girl again. Well, she got to the point. Why, are you... Why do you know, sis? Or what do you mean by again? Don't tell me you stalked me because you love me so much. Or could it be you're using a miniature microphone on me? Jeez, you only cry when you're rejected by a girl when you're playing a game with a tragic storyline. How do you know I play those games? I thought the Tomoyo part was pretty good, but for the Fuko part, it was hard to sympathize with the main character. Besides, the ending was kind of predictable. Apologize, apologize to all the Fuko fans in the country. <laughs> Sorry, don't play around your brother's game without permission. Stop the happen already. Even your older sister sat. Oh, she's your older sister, my own Nechan. She just trying to kill me. Catching a certain bamboo sword. I'm trying to do that actually hit. Oh, aggressive woman is my older sister, Fukami Kotiri. She's a swordswoman currently belonging to the Kendo Club at her university. She was amazing kendo during high school and set a lot of records. Is now one of the strongest members in the kendo club at her university. 
treats me like her slave every so often. It's already been a few years since I first wished to break through her this hierarchy. But this wish hasn't been realized yet. Jeez, I wish you would at least consider the pity of a sister with an unattractive brother. Look who's talking even though you're already a university student, you don't have a boyfriend yet. I like you, I have lots of boys that approach me. Oh, is that so? You resemble me, so your visual appearance isn't that awful. Why don't you try to start playing a sport, but then maybe you'll get some girls. Huh? Who, with an attractive visual appearance, do you resemble? What? You see, I'm considering mastering martial arts. I haven't done any of a beginny pig. A bamboo sword isn't enough for you, so you decide to master physical techniques too? Are you trying to kill me or something? Oh, if you're seriously challenging me, there might be an extremely slight chance of saying, say, 0.01% that you may win. What, what kind of percentage is that? You only hear those towards the end of leading bat kinder battles of pennant races. What's annoying is that the probability is not so off from that value. She even swings at a 1.8 liter bottle full of sand as a substitute for a bamboo sword during meals, so her muscular strength is unbelievable. Hey, Sugaha. Huh? Why don't you give in and come back to the dojo? It's already been three years since the incident. That's kind of a cliche, since the incident. You could talent, Dad had higher hopes for you than for me. Like surprise attack a few minutes ago, many, not many boys in the dojo can dodge that. Understand how you feel. Oh, phone call. Anyway, think of it seriously for once, okay? Well, for you. First period, blah, blah, blah. I'm better than my sister, eh? That's not so true. I quit Kendo already. I haven't even held the bamboo set for ages. And what's this incident? Did he almost die or something? Did he, did he lose really badly during a championship or something? What the fuck? You were rejected? You look like a frog with pecs. You got like M&Ms up on your head or something. Dude, shut up. You're too loud. Rejected by Hakamada? Uh, yeah. I was telling my classmates about yesterday's failure. Hakamada already had a boyfriend. A boyfriend? A handsome guy in a soccer club. Oh yeah. Or oh, Yanagisawa or Yanagisawa? If it's Yanagisawa, there's no use. According to your information, you said Hakamada didn't have a boyfriend. Oh, that information is from Summer. What? Summer? What you told me was not up to date? Current news isn't cheap, eh? Suyama? Yeah. Both of you. After all the money I paid you, the info you gave me was worthless. If I knew this about this, I wouldn't have forced myself to go through this road of death. Give me back my money and my innocence. <laughs> Calm down. Either way, it was impossible for Sukaha to win Hakamada's heart, no? What makes it worse is that Yanagisawa is the chairman's son. That man's the chairman's son? You didn't know? People say he's dating so many girls using the power of money and being the chairman's son. Quite the ladies' man. Oh no. But hey, Sukha, didn't you confess to the most popular girl in the grade and get completely objected last year too? And you tried to rank a blow to get brutally and get brutally rejected again. Is it just me or do the phrases you use describe my situation get worse and worse every year? Hey, why don't you try confessing to girls that suit your level? <sighs> Shut up. Well, Suga, I do admire your spirit, or should I say, recklessness. Yeah, yeah, I think we should look up to your tough masochism. <laughs> It really doesn't feel like you guys are praising me. Life is gonna be so depressing from now on. In times like these, the best medicine for curing your heart is Mannerine from Love Minus. So he has a waifu in these. Set up at the third dimension. He's got a 2D waifu. That's good to know. Oh. Now we're back to the past again. First of January. And a solar eclipse, apparently. According to, historical fact, according to historical fact, it is known that there was a total solar eclipse on this day. Inside the Gofukubashi Bridge. So how about your duties towards the visiting Imperial Messenger this year? Make sure to make no careless mistakes. Yes, I understand. I am quite surprised that you, Lord Yanagiso, the head of the Shogun's Council of Elders, has personally come to visit. Well, for the ceremony, it is the posthumous award for Lord 
Suno Yoshi's mother, Madame K. Shoin. I still believe the Lord has appointed Lord Kira, who is well known, uh, well known in the Imperial Capital, to the duty concerning the ceremony. Ah, then I must work hard not to let the Lord down. Nevertheless, Lord Kira is the head of the noble houses. I believe you are already used to your duties concerning the Imperial Messenger. What the hell is up with your face? Oh no, I'm already a dotard in my 60s. I'm nervous already that I might forget my greetings to the Imperial Messenger. Noblemen like you, Mr. Kira, shouldn't be faint-hearted like that. Indeed. By the way, after imitating ceremony for the Imperial Envoy, has the role for organizer of the feast to be held in Edo already been decided? This isn't official yet, but Mr. Muratoyo Date, the lord of the domain of Iyo Yoshi Yoshida, and or Takumino Kami Asuno, the lord, lord of the domain of Banshu Ako, those two. Oh, Lord Date and Lord Asuno? But isn't this the second time for Mr. Asuno will be organizing the reception for the Imperial Envoy? Is there a problem? No, but isn't giving it the duty of organizing the reception for the Imperial Envoy? Envoy of Lord Asano a second time a bit cooler considering their other worthy lords. Lord Date is still a young man of only 19 years, thus it is natural for an experienced man to be on duty along with him. Furthermore, it is the decision of the Shogun. It is Lord's decision that there is nothing to be done. Well, if Lord Asano is there, then she won't even need my assistance. Sure, this entertaining Imperial Envoy ceremony is success. It is reassuring to hear those words from you. I know you bring a fortune slip like this. Fortune slip? Yes, it is slip by order from Senkakuchi Temple. Oh? Ah? This guy suddenly come dark. What's going on? Is he having a heart attack? Seems like a heart attack. Power upon you. The hell? I'm about to tell you. Arverse hostility, delusion. Expose these three worldly desires only in front of Lord Asano. You don't need to question the reason for this. I just need you to expose these three desires only in front of Lord Asano. How do you think? I believe this isn't so difficult. Why do I have to do such a thing? Told you already, there is no need to question the reason, okay? I'll say this one more time. You will expose three worldly desires only in front of Lord Asano. Is he being brainwashed desire to Lord Asano? Yes, expose them. Expose them. Oh, okay. Things went as planned. Or should we control, control Kozukeno Suke only with the fortune slip and the spell? Yes, indeed. Remember how the sunlight dimmed? What was that? It was the phenomenon where the sun is partially goes into an eclipse. The curse will point slip and the eclipse needs to happen at just the right moment for it to go into effect. So you say it went well? Indeed. Now there's no doubt that because of Kozukeno Suke attacking me and Akami will cause trouble. But just causing trouble isn't enough, you know. He must infuriate the Lord to the level of his demanding a five thief transference. It'll be fine. Due to that spell, the only curse that Taki Min no Kami. God, it's a long name since I've been kind of hard. Taki Min no Kami is still a young Lord. She won't be able to stand it when he exposes all his worldly desires in front of him. Whoa. So, bad girl. Okay, what is that? What is that going to go to? Getting to quarrel with him do his organized feast for the Imperial Envoy will be dismissed. Furthermore, if she's this from do his organized the feast for the Imperial Envoy, that'll be enough for transference. That is all is left. Mr. Yana or Yana Gisawa to talk to the Shogun. Ah, yes, I understand. Be completely under your control, right? Yes. Alright. So oh am I back into the present now? Is that what yep. Shogun waifus. Open save screen. Alright. With the clips. Sure. Alright. Well, I think I'm going to leave it here for now. It looks like we're just now starting to kind of get into it. We're jumping back and forth between past and present. Makes me wonder if they've all been reincarnated as different people. Or like all these 47 Ronin and whatnot have been reincarnated as different girls or something. 
I don't really know yet, but it seemed interesting, at least in the Steam preview and whatnot. And I'll try continuing this later on, see how this goes. Anyway, please hit that like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you thought of today's video, and please leave any suggestions that you may have about games you'd want me to play next. Alright, again, this was Chu Singura 46 plus 1, and I hope to see you in tomorrow's next video. Alright, thank you, and bye bye